we got Dick Haygood with us. And Dick, tell us about some of the art that we've experienced here in the beautiful Florida Keys. Well, we've been fortunate enough over the years here in Isla Mirada recently to uh, acquire a, a much broader creative community. And uh, the result is the art you see behind you and around you here, uh, depictions, if you will, of uh, experiences we've had on the water through the years. It's like a photograph. It, it lasts forever. It, uh, something you can hang in your house, put on a put on a pedestal and live with it and be proud of it. There's been a lot of great artists that have come out of the Florida Keys or even live in the Florida Keys. We have Millard Wells, we have David Worth, Tim Borsky. I mean, what else am I forgetting, Dick? Pasta Pantaleo, who I think is one of our, uh, one of our best artists here in the Keys and co-founder of our Arts and Culture District in Isla Mirada. Uh, and there are others, I, I hate to leave anybody out, there's so many good ones. Uh, but I think art's been developing here. The awareness of art and the awareness of the importance in, in, our, in our heritage and in our culture here in Isla Mirada has just uh, has grown over the years. Now in the Florida Keys, you guys have an event every month that's called Art Walk. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, in Mirada Way Arts and Culture District, we uh, host what we call the Third Thursday Art Walk. Obviously, every third Thursday of the, of the year, uh, 12 times a, a, a year. Uh, great event, uh, lots of music, lots of art, uh, lots of food, uh, kids drawing chalk on the sidewalk. It's a, it's a great family event. We have upwards of uh, 2,000 people uh, a month at our event, so, so it's one of the better events down here. So what time of the afternoon or day does that occur? It goes 6 to 9 uh, in the evening. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously this time of year it's a little warm, so people tend to get there a little bit late. When we get into season, uh, January, February, and we have our uh, snowbirds coming in, plus our visitors at the, at the hotels, our crowds swell and it becomes a real festival. So is it, is it driven by the arts itself or, you know, what do I expect to see there besides, you know, just all the arts? You know, it's arts centered, uh, but we view it as a community night. We view it as the opportunity for our citizens to come out see each other. We're a long linear community as you probably know and it's difficult to get together. It's a good, good place to bring your family. We have a microbrewery there. Drop your kids off, let them draw on the Where's it sidewalk. Located? It's located uh, at Mount, mile marker 81 in Isla Mirada on and what's called uh, Mirada Way. Dick, you have been a plethora of information. Thanks, That's Rick. a big word for me. But more importantly, we've got to get back to the studio. Got a few more reports to do before it gets dark. Thank you so much for being here. And Bree, take yep. it away. Dick, we're <laughs> laughing at your big word there. Plethora, I'm proud of you. Multi-syllables. Look what he's learning down there I'll in the keys. <laughs> they learned him down there.